Finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. We finished analyzing the names Bell acquired at Da Nang. One in particular stands out. Anton Volkov. He's a Russian arms dealer working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. If we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev. Which means Volkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. MI6 has been tracking Volkov for several years. It is my strong preference that we attempt to capture rather than kill him. He holds answers to a great many questions. Your preference has been noted, Agent Park. That until you found in Da Nang was a treasure trove. Will you tell me? After we dug it up, you spent two full hours decrypting everything inside. You seem to think Volkov was the name to pay attention to. Are you feeling all right, Bell? That's one of the reasons we wanted you on this team. Not even the CIA's best cryptographers have been able to crack that dossier. You're special, Bell. But it also sounds like you need a nap. We have, for a short while. We share a common interest. Though to be frank, he's not the most pleasant person I've worked with. No more than you need to, I'll tell you that. Avoid personal questions. And whatever you do, never ask him about his scar. Do you really think that if I knew, I would tell you? You're cute. Born on the coast of Leningrad, never travels when the sun's out. He has impeccable taste in scotch and medieval torture devices. I think he'd love the UK. I plan on giving him a personal tour. My pleasure. Nice work producing that name, Bell. We archive everything. CIA is like my ex-wife. Won't throw a damn thing away. The trick is knowing what's buried in that pile and getting the thing you need when you need it. Scott, I think you want this one. You found some checks again? We'll talk Lexus. on the drive, Bill. What? You think everything's about you now? Never. That's one perspective. I thought it went pretty damn well. What did you think of it?
Well, you have yourself a wonderful fucking day, too. Did I ever see his face? No. That photo on the board is all we have, and it's more than 20 years old. Handsome man. I hope the years weren't kind to him. Bell, you're a spy, but let's keep it outside the building, not inside. Understand? We'll leave within the hour. To entertain me. Are you being funny? Did we not just go through this? Look, I could say so many things right now. No, forget about it. It's good. Only when they tell me not to. This assignment, I'm mostly gonna run the shop. Whatever you guys need, I'll make sure you have it. You see, I got a list of connections longer than the Great Wall. Adler needs it, I can procure it. No exceptions. Sure, I could get that. No problem. Easy. I can have that in-house by next week. Mm, clever. But I wasn't joking earlier. That's a hell of a request, but give me enough time and I can have one parked outside. Okay, now how you gonna pay for that? <laughs> Last I heard, Adler cuts some checks around here. Unless you got a suitcase full of cash, I'm gonna consider your request null and void. Shit, I tried to track that motherfucker years ago, when he went to Italy for a douchebag conference. He's slick. If you see him, tell him Lauren Sim says hello. I guess we need more of that old school CIA blood with us. I mean, Park over there, she's cool, but she's not company, if you know what I mean. Come again. 